Hey my friend, hey my friend. So it's your girl here, Tanisha at Tanisha Marie uh, 83 on Instagram, guys. So I just want to come today, guys, and tell you, encourage you, right, to start dreaming again, right? As children, as children, uh, you know, we used to have big dreams, right? We used to have big goals. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as we got older, right, our dreams and goals just like vanished, right? We just said, forget about our goals. We got kids to take care of. We need a job. So we need to be able to pay the bills and all that. But here's the thing about not pursuing your dreams and not fulfilling your goals. You don't, you're not satisfied. You're not satisfied and your life is not fulfilled, right? So, so when you don't pursue your dreams and you don't fulfill your goals, your life is not satisfied. You're not fulfilled with, uh, you know, with, with life anymore. Now you just feel like, oh my God, uh, you know, I'm just doing something just to do something. I'm not trying to really, uh, you know, do anything, uh, you know, other than, okay, other than, uh, you know, what I, um, you know, what I am doing, you know, right now. So here's the thing. Here is the thing, guys. Okay. Let me write this. All right. So, so here's the thing, guys. Right. So you want to pursue your dreams with all of your heart, all of your mind and all of your energy. Okay. Because here's the thing, guys, nothing will happen unless you make it happen. Right. Nothing is going to happen unless you make it happen. And if you never make nothing happen, nothing continues to happen. Things don't just fall into place. Just like I got a cup of coffee right now. It's like I have a cup of coffee right now. This cup of coffee wouldn't have get, got made if I, th I did not go make it, right? So I had to put the coffee in there. I had to put the milk in there and I had to put the water in there and I had to stir it up. Then for me to be able to drink it to make it happen, right? Same thing, right? You got to make your life. You got to have the ingredients for your dream, right? Put them all together, stir it up, make it happen, right? This is what you got to do, right? Most people are so dormant. They're so uh, used to conforming to just the mundane of walking to work or going to work and taking care of the kids and taking the kids to school is that it becomes so routine. It becomes a party. It's like you can go to work and drive to work and take your kids to school with your eyes closed now because it's so embedded in you that you have been doing it for 20 years. Right. And so now if you do something else different outside of your comfort zone, guess what? Now you get scared. Right. But here's the thing, guys, if you never do nothing different, you get nothing different. If you never think different thoughts, you never get different things. It's reality, guys. You never will get different things if you never think different things. You will never go different places if you never do something different or go a different place. It's really that simple, guys. It doesn't make sense that people are 30, 40, 50 years old, 60 years old, 70 years old, and don't have a brown scent. Don't even, don't even have a gold anymore. Don't even have, don't even dream anymore. It's very, very sad, guys. So it's, start, it's now the time to start dreaming again, right? Now is the time to start dreaming again. Why, guys? Because at the end of the day, no one has sympathy for you. No one cares about your situation, right? Your boss don't care about you because they can fire you left and right, guys. They laying off so many people from Walmart right now. It's crazy. And replacing them with machines. They laid off so many people from Twinkie. Bank of America laid off a lot of people. Literally, guys, things are being replaced. And this is why I tell you, guys, you need to have a plan B. What is your plan B? Okay, what is your plan B, right? Your plan B can't can't be, oh, when well, my job fired me, I'm going to collect unemployment. No, that's not in control of your finances. You're not controlling your finances. You're waiting on someone to say, boom, here goes your finances. Here goes what's going to happen with your finances. This is what you need to do with your finances. So you're not in control, okay? You're not in control of your finances, OK, but once you start to think different thoughts, go different places. Now you can start to put new ideas and new things into your mind. Then you can say, OK, well, I can go here. I can go there. I can do this. Right. Especially with weight loss. People fat. People gaining weight left and right. Why? Because they're not in control of their thoughts. It's really just mind over matter. People are not in control of what they're eating. They get hungry to eat anything. They're not strategically thinking, okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to eat this today because this is going to add another five pounds on. Or, you know what? I need to go to the gym. 
right? Because I'm getting too big, right? People are not making conscious decisions, right? You are where you are right now is because of the thoughts that you thought this far, right? You are where you are right now in your life because of the thoughts that you have thought this far. So if you 400 pounds, it's because of the thoughts that you thought all year long or all last year or for the last 10 years. If your bank account's on E, it's because of the thoughts that you have thought for the last 10 years. Right? If your relationship is sour, it's because of the thoughts that you have thought all year long or all week long or all month long or all decade long. Right? So this has to change. That's why I said let's dream again, guys. Let's dream again and put those thoughts literally into action. Write them down. Right? Write, write them down. Like get a blank piece of paper. Write down what you want. Right? So every month I write down what my goals are. Every month. I write down what my goals are, right? And then I'll put, okay, what did I achieve? So these are my goals that I write. And then this is what I achieve, right? So so you have to write down because you got to see what you're doing. You got to see to believe, right? But you have to see it in your mind first. Not see it physically. It has to be a vision. So that's why I said, let's dream again, right, guys? If you, uh, you know, you are into, uh, uh, you know, talking to people, helping people, outgoing and all that stuff, guess what? You can literally change this today, right? And say, you know what? I want to do something different to get something different, right? I'm in network marketing, guys. I love network marketing, right? Because you can literally create a lifestyle. You can be around people, millionaires that can help you get to the next level. Everybody trying to find an easy way out. Oh, I want to build an e-commerce store, right? E-commerce is great because you don't have to recruit people to get in. And then you don't have to motivate people to maintain, uh, you know, your paycheck. But here's the thing. E-commerce, you got to spend money every single day, every single day in e-commerce to make your e-commerce store make money. If you're not a marketer, guess what? You're going to struggle at least your first month, your first two months, especially if you don't have, uh, uh, especially if you don't have a team of people that's helping you. Okay. So guys, remember nothing's easy. Nothing is easy. That's why I said, I think network marketing is the best. You can get in, you can learn a new skill. You can gain a new skill. You can make money while you're gaining a new skill. And you can help others, guys. It's a lovely concept. The best concept on the planet. The best concept. And you can't get fired. You can't. All right? You cannot get fired. Now, with a Shopify store, guess what? Facebook could, could uh, you know, shut your ads account down. All right? But network marketing, if you're following the system and doing what people doing what the system is telling you to do, guess what? You can't get fired. They can't shut your account down. You can't do this and that. Even with Shopify and e-commerce, even if you're doing everything right, Facebook just decide they feel like shutting your account down. So what's more secure, right? What's more secure, guys? A job is not secure, right? Building yourself up is more secure because whatever you put into yourself is what you're going to get out. So guys, hopefully I was able to enlighten you and open up your mind uh, to be able to see that there is so much for you to tap into. There's so much for you to tap into. It's a shame. The other day, the other night, I made $500 by just having people in my living room telling them about some of my products and my services that I have. Okay? My products and my services that I have. Okay? And guess what? People were loving it. Okay? I just simply got out my comfort zone. Simply got out of my comfort zone and said, I need to do this. I need to go somewhere. I need to grow and I need to do more so I can have more. And thank God I did it, right? Because now, guys, I got two new representatives in my company on my team. I am happy. I am grateful for that, guys. So if you want more, you got to do more so you can have more. Want more, do more so you, that you can actually have more, guys. Okay? So go find me on Instagram, Tanisha Marie 83 and then also on Periscope, guys, at Royalty, R-Y-L-T-E-A, guys. See you on the